Hey guys, it's Ariel and welcome back to my channel. Hey now, hey now. Hey now, hey now. Alright, so for today's video, I'm super, super excited because we are going to be recreating one of my RuPaul's Drag Race runway looks. Now, I've gotten a lot of requests to recreate this look. Now, this is my... Aries, what's your sign runway? Now, I had a lot of fun doing this runway. This was a look that was created by a local designer in Philadelphia area named Brandon Bermudez, and I really, really loved this fur purple gigorama. So, this was one of my favorite looks to do. I love the makeup, and I always get requests to do the makeup online. But, you know, you already saw the makeup kind of thing. You know what I mean? It was on TV, we saw it. So, I thought for Halloween, what we're gonna do, we're gonna do an updated Aries 2. Point That's four. Aries 2.0. So I'm super excited to bring this look to life with you guys. We're going to be using some amazing products. So if you keep on watching, we are going to transform into the what's your sign? Tay Allen, love you girl. We are going to do the Aries 2.0 and I'm so, so excited to be sharing this look with you guys for the 13 days of Halloween. Yes. All right, guys. So here we go. It's my face is beat. Hello, we're back. Yes, so I already did all my foundation off of camera. Off, off camera. Off camera, because, you know, y'all know how I do it. If you guys want to see a more in-depth foundation routine, obviously, check out any number of my videos. Do you like my freaking donuts? Anywho, so you might notice I am Bart the Browless Boy Wonder today. Now, I was thinking, I was laying there last night, I was dreaming of a better world, and I had thought to myself, Ariel, what can you change about the Aries look? And one thing came to my mind. Goats don't have eyebrows. Anyway, so yeah, we're going to be doing a very, very different look today. It's going to be like the essence of the Ridge, if you will, but it's going to be totally different. So yeah, Aries 2.0. Yes. I annoy myself. I'm so psyched to do this look, and I know you guys are going to love it, so let's jump right in. So first, I'm going to be really just coating the eye <laughs> with like a burgundy-ish red. And I'm gonna blend this like real far. Then I'm gonna take a powder brush. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend out the top of that because it's a big surface to cover. Do, 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 do. And then the tutorial's done. Just kidding. Next, we're gonna take like a pinky lilac tone and we're just gonna hit that right in the center and also blend that up. And again, blend out with big powder brush. Now we're gonna pop a deeper tone into the outer and the inner corners. And then blend that inward. And if we can manage, find one more little bit deeper color. Now using the Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit Eyeshadow, it's the cream. It's kind of like a white concealer and it's in the shade Vein Ella Ice Cream. <laughs> Dad pun. We're gonna carve out a crease. Now using a flat concealer brush, we're just gonna blend that out. And then we're gonna quickly set those outer edges with whatever shadow is left over to get that nice halo effect on the lid. Now we're gonna set that lid with a super pretty shimmering shade. And then again, blend in those inner and outer corners. Now like with the slightest touch, like the grace of God, we're just gonna put a little blank in the inner and outer, like the touchiest of touchy touch. A little bit goes a long way. All right, once you get that black really blendisha sparks out, then you're good to go. Now we're gonna tap into our Wet n Wild paint palette, and this is in the shade Smoky, Smoky Toky, and we're gonna pop into this color in the bottom if I can open it with these nails. Ooh! We're gonna tap into this color right here, and this is the shade, I don't think they have names. Dark purple. And this is a cream, and I'm just gonna use this as a base for the shadows underneath my eye. We're just gonna like gently pull that down. Now we're gonna set this with a little shadow. So we're gonna go from a deep purple to a light purple. 
We're going to switch over to a floofy floofy brush for that lighter color. And now that we have that nice and blended out, we're going to go ahead and line the upper lash line with a little e.l.f. liquid liner. Once we have that liner on, we're going to go ahead and wing that out a bit. Now, since I'm really wanting this look to go off, we're going to apply some glitter on the lid. I love using glitter. We're going to concentrate it in the very center. So first, applying some e.l.f. glitter glue. Now, I don't bring my glitter all the way down because I have very hooded eyes. So I only apply my glitter to where I know my eye creases so that it doesn't get all over the place. Shout out to my creased gals out there. But when applying this glitter, you don't want to ruin that nice halo effect you got. So make sure you concentrate it on the center and like ever so slightly pat it away. Here we go. So now that we got it mainly on the center, just lightly sprinkle it to the sides. Just use your highlight brush, brush off any excess. But like, mogo! Yes. Like this is the tea. I just had to go in my trash can because I just threw out this fucking NARS pencil sharpener because I forgot it was in my bag. I did a little Sephora haul the other day and Sephora didn't have a sharpener and like the only brand that had a sharpener was NARS. I want to say yeah, but no. Now we're gonna apply this on the waterline. And that really just opens up the eye. Now we're gonna put on a bit of mascara. Now that we have our mascara on, I just want to bring kind of like a more flirty and fresh look to this because my original look was definitely like very sweet and cute. This one's a little bit more of a Halloween-y vibe, but we want to bring that original sweetness back into it. So I'm going to take a pink blush and kind of halo that all around the eye. You want to really concentrate the blush on the temples. And again, blend out with our fluffy highlight brush. You want everything to be seamless. You don't want to know where anything starts and stops. Now we're going to tap into this Wet n Wild Shape Shifting Blush from their Fantasy Maker collection in the shade Vampy. And we're going to apply this kind of like as a contour-ish blush on the cheek. So you're kind of like duochrome kind of gig. And then again, and then blend, blend with your highlight brush. Now this shade shifting blush was really interesting to me and it is in the color Ghoul and I'm going to use this for like a little bit of a contour. So I'm just got like a purple chromatic moment to it. Yeah, it definitely adds a nice like sheen and contour to the face. I'm just going to clean right underneath. Now tapping back into the smoky cream palette, we got to give ourselves a little ram nose. And again, I'm going to use that purpley color. All right, now that I have that nose on there to my liking, meow, look a very sexy dear. It's not what we're going for. And so I don't look crazier than the crazies. We're just gonna go ahead and start applying our lip. I'm gonna go ahead and blend this lip inward and then apply a gloss. Now I'm going to gently set this color. Now for this beautiful Aries Ram, we're going to need a lot, a lot of highlight. Here comes the fun part. Ooh. Now we're going to go in and apply all of our special effects products. This is going to be the hard with this nail gigarama. Oh, she's getting a little decroated. Now 
All right, guys, so I think it's time to lash it up. Now that we have our lashes and our stones on, you know, in my original look, I remember I had these darker contacts, like these like black contacts made my eyes look bigger. Don't have them anymore. So I don't know if I just want to leave my eyes brown so it's more like that or put contacts in. You know what? It'll be a surprise. So let's get into our final look for our Aries 2.0. Oh. All right, guys, so that concludes my What is Your Sign 2.0 makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Now, I, I love this gig Rama. Y'all kept coming for me for the big hair. So here she is. She got some Flatisha Sparks hair. I think it works with it, though. I still have the original um, horns that I had, but I got these at DragCon, this headdress. I need to I need to find the designer again. I got this and, like, an orangey one that I'm going to do a fall tutorial with. But I think it's really pretty. It's fun. It's updated. It's... Yes! This is, like, my Aries from the runways, like, bitchy older sister Susan. Like, all right, Ramesha, finish your eyebrows. We have Aries brunch. I'm gonna get crunk off mimosas. So yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed tonight's tutorial. I had so much fun doing it. And if you guys are not already, make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel and hit that notification bell so you know when I'm posting new videos. I hope you guys are loving my 13 days of Halloween because I'm having so much fun. So make sure you are tuned in to when I'm posting the rest. I have so many more coming. So much fun, you guys. I love you guys, and as always, yes. yes.